Let's just say it's the end of an age. Time to start building a new one. Hello everyone, your friendly neighbourhood docker here, and I am here with my wonderful partner, Short and Scarfy. Hello. And you're probably wondering why we're wearing these hats, and that is because it is her birthday. Woo! Yay! And I didn't have any party hats, so... But, I do have party games. If there's one thing that you've always loved about me, it's that I have a massive, massive music collection. And with that comes some very, very strange bands, some of which you may have heard of, some of which you may not have heard of. Mm -hmm. You have to guess if these band names are real or if I've made them up. And the real ones are in my music collection. Okay. If you get enough points, you win a prize. Can I go and have a look? No. You can't. No, no, no oh. guessing. No. <laughs> but you win something from a band that's very close to my heart. Okay, so... Right. Um, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's get started. So, Sarah. Yes. Number one. Okay. Is the band? Is the? Is this a real band? Gay for Johnny Depp. Yes. True. How do you know if it is real? If it's true or not? Because you've talked about them a lot, and you have a T-shirt with it on. Okay, I did start with an easy one there. It is a real band. Yes, Gay for Johnny Depp, little hardcore punk band from America. And yeah, they, uh, they're an odd bunch, but I like them. Yeah, I've got at least one. Okay. Yeah. Number two. Okay. Hot water music. Is it a real band or is it a fake? Hot water music. Hot water music. That sounds insane. Mm. I'm going to say not a band. Oh, Sarah, they are a real band. Oh, no. Hot water music. Yeah, they've, they've been around for a little while. I've got some of their stuff pretty bland, but I got it because... Krang. We did a lot of silly things when we were younger. Number three. Okay. Woman fish. Is it a real band or not? Woman fish. Woman fish. Woman fish. It sounds so stupid. I'm probably going to say yes. It's a real band. You say it's a real band. Yeah. Sarah, it's not a real oh! band. Woman fish is actually the name of a demo song that you two played on Irish television in 1986. <gasps> that show. to this day, Bono says is probably one of the worst songs they ever wrote, which is why it never went anywhere past that stage. But they also did uh, demo versions of With or Without Your Trip Through My Life. City on the poetry and the punk rock of New York City all those years ago. I'm rambling. Why am I rambling? Because let's just get on to the next. Let's get on. So, your next band okay. is Snake River Conspiracy. Band. How do you think it's a real band or not? I'm sure I've heard the name before. Yeah. And you are right, Snake River Conspiracy is an industrial metal band that were around the turn of the century, as in the last century. Um, they haven't really done much since, but they are still good. They only released one album, but very, very good. Okay. Swamp Terrorists. Swamp Terrorists? Swamp Terrorists. Real band or fake band? I'd love it to be a real band because it's a great name. And you're right! Yay! You got another one right. <laughs> Swamp Terrorists, are, uh, they were an industrial band from, I think, Italy. Um, I've got quite a few of their things. Um, one of my favourite tracks by them is called <laughs> Smoker. Okay. It's one of those industrial bands. One of those kind of weirder underground ones like... Uh... <laughs> I might edit that bit out. I'll see how I feel. <laughs> Uh, okay, next. Dead When I Found Her. That's a band. How do you know? I'm sure you've talked about them. And you are correct. They are a real band, Dead When I Found Her, a little band from America. Just don't wear a t-shirt if you can help it, because out of context, wearing that on a t-shirt, bit weird. Yeah, not good. Bit weird. <laughs> Okay, next. Space Face. 
Real band or fake? Space, space face. I'm going to say not a real band. And you are correct. Yay! They are not a real band. They are, in fact, it is, in fact, uh, one of the few EPs released by Sub Sub, a oh. band that you quite enjoy. A band that would end up becoming Doves. Just a little kind of point out there. <laughs> Next. Okay. The Outer Limits. Real band in my music collection or fake? Ooh. The Outer Limits. There's a certain plausibility in it. Mm. But. <laughs> but. Yeah. Ooh. Is it real? Go, I'll Is go it for fake? real. I'll go for real band. Oh, you're wrong. Oh, no. oh, The Outer Limits was actually a track by the Dream Boys. Do you know who the Dream Boys are? Oh, that band that Peter Capaldi were in. Oh, oh that's where you'd heard it before. That's where I'd heard it that's before. That's where you'd heard it before. Okay. <laughs> Send more paramedics. Send more paramedics. Send more paramedics. Is it a real band or is it fake? Sounds like the title of Holby City episode. <laughs> um... Send more paramedics. Mm. 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 I'm going to have to hurry you on this one. Okay, Send more paramedics. I'll, I'll go for real and think it might be some sort of... And you're correct! Yay. Send more paramedics are a zombie metal band. And they've named themselves as such after a line from Return of the Living Dead. If you yeah. remember well, at all. Obviously I knew that. Yes. No, and correct. last... Okay. Sooty's Nightmare. <laughs> Real or fake? Sooty's Nightmare. Sooty's Nightmare. Oh, good grief. Um, Real or fake? Sooty's Nightmare. Probably sweet with a chainsaw or something, wouldn't it? Sooty's Nightmare. Sooty's is it a real nightmare. band or is it a fake one that I've made up? A fake. And you're right. Yay! Sooty's Nightmare, of course, is being stuck in a glass container in Weatherspoons in Wellington. That Sooty's real nightmare okay so well i haven't tallied up the points because i'm an idiot but because it's your birthday i, I think you should get the prize anyway because okay, you seems know fair. it does it seems very fair and the prize is a signed photo from my band when i was a teenager forks of the credit oh wow well, what more there we I go for? i was about 15 at the time and I hold the band very close to my heart, even though I, I don't remember where the last the band mates' last names. So I don't know. Um, Baby Docker. Baby Docker. Yeah, I, I I couldn't get hold of the rest of them if I tried. Uh, but yeah, Forks of the Credit we were called, and our and our little motto was Ban the Spoon. Ban the Spoon. And we got the name from a sign that I'd seen in Canada when I was on holiday there as a teenager. I should so. get a frame for it and put it up in my room. <sighs> Anyway, we're going to enjoy the rest of Sarah's birthday. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And do that little dingy bell thing that Facebook, seem, uh, YouTube seem to be doing at the moment. Uh, I honestly don't understand it myself. But if you do and you want to see more of my work, then feel free to ding it. But anyway, folks, uh, we're going to get some cake. Oh, yeah, definitely. Some yeah. cake and probably listen to some 80s Matchbox Beeline Disaster, who are a real band. And then watch some Doctor Who, because you've got to do that on a birthday. <sighs> on your birthday, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Bye. 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 Bye.